Hey guys, I'm gonna run through a quick factory run that was one of the more challenging spawns. It's over near the blinking light near the glass hallway. And the reason that's challenging is because you can have a player very close on the right and you can also have a player very close in the tunnels. And the reason I chose this one in particular was this is when I actually approached the office area to get some kills. And there's a little period of downtime, but I'll kind of walk you through my decision making. And before we jump into it, just want you to know what gear I'm rocking. I have an RPK that I took off of Killa. I have the mags and the ammo that I took off of Killa. The only thing I did to the gun was add a vertical grip to it, just to add some recoil and ergonomics to it. And then I've got a ULAC helmet, the sword and headset. I have a class 4 armored rig with 28 hit points on it and a scav backpack so kind of a mid-level setup um but yeah let's let's jump into it so get this raid started real quick so again i heard this guy running on the right here and then he stopped so he's feeling me out i'm feeling him out So he heard me move, I heard him move, and we've got scabs coming up, so we're both getting a little nervous. Nice shots there, saw his body crumble next to the truck. We know that we can loot him. And this video started a little late, so I actually heard those two guys fight. So not much here. A little failed loot Tetris. But we got it figured out. So all those shots are pretty far away, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so from right here, when I hit that fence, the reason I ran is that's the only spot where there's barbed wire there. I'm clearing the ramp, and then I'm looking up. Because the most dangerous areas to you are the ramp off to the left, the doorway that you can see right in the left middle of the screen, and then above, somebody who's looking down. So I choose to go along this back wall, which I think is the right call. Making sure I got bullets. So right here, I'm checking to see if the door to the exfil is open. It is not, so I don't have to worry about that. Spotted this guy. Not sure if we killed him or not, but we definitely hit him. He wasn't making any noise, so this is when I chose to make my push. Because I didn't think he was going to push up and try to stop me from getting on the staircase. There's the stairs, so he's going down to heal, likely. Would have been a good play if I had a shorter gun like an SMG. You can jump on that box and shoot. And we got him. The good news on this guy was he only took a couple shots, and it was pretty cool to see that he had an SVDS. So he came in with some serious ammo, a serious gun, and we kind of just surprised him. Good loot. Our armor was okay. We didn't need his armor. But we know it's there if we need it later. Okay, so we hear this guy running through. I think he's going to cross from the right to the left in front of me. And I made a little bit of a mistake here. So he hit metal after running from right to left, and I think the only place that you would hear that metal is on the stairs on the other side of that building. So I probably could have peeked the right side of that structure on top of the building and probably caught this guy, but I decided to disengage. 
And I was really exposed here. I probably waited too long. So at this point, there was a lot of shots over here. I honestly didn't think that the office would remain unlooted, especially when the doors were open. So I clear it first. No one hiding here. And then I realized that the safe was not open. And we came up with some pretty sweet loot here. Again, a little loot Tetris to make room for the lion. Dollars, which is nice. About 5,000 rubles worth. So here, I decide to repack the mags instead of loot all the coats and stuff because there's nothing going on. And I actually don't mind making a little noise up here in the office because it's going to attract player scavs, it's going to attract players, and honestly, if I'm in here with a fully automatic weapon, I want to shoot it. So I'm going to repack mags. You can see that my RPK is at about half, so we're going to get this one packed up, switch that out, and all the while we're just listening for footsteps to see if anybody's getting close. unload, switch the mags out. I just want to make sure we have as full of mags as possible. I don't mind having a less full mag in my secured container, even if I die. So someone walked up, trying to bait him in. So at this point I'm thinking scav, because a player probably would have peeked me. So that's on the girder outside. We don't know if they're second level or on this level. So I turned the laser off here because if somebody's coming up on the left, I don't want them to know where I am. And we start hearing them here. Okay, so this is a challenging spot. If you rewind a little bit or you just heard it, we got a guy coming straight in front of us on the metal. We heard wood and then we heard running on our level. And this is where I start to question my positioning because it suggests that someone's on our level about to come in. And we also have someone running down below, which is going to attract a lot of people. My biggest threat is somebody coming through that hole, so that's where we're focused. But I'm very aware of what's happening below and next to me. The action will pick up, but there's a lot going on. Get ready. Come on, come on. We heard the running on the other side. Not going to reload here because we know there's somebody else. So he had a great peek there. And there was another one or two guys, so time to heal. Get out of there. If you're not familiar with this spot, you're going to hear glass on anyone that's approaching. Great spot to heal. Probably should have popped a painkiller here. I may have forgot them this raid. Okay, big mistake here. If that was a player scab, I'm probably dead. I should have canceled this heal and engaged. But instead, I finished the heal and got lucky that it was a AI scab. <laughs> Yeah, and after any kind of firefight, oh, I did have painkiller. I should have taken that before. After any firefight, 
I always think it's important to listen for a second to see if anybody's encroaching on that fight. Just checking my health. It was pretty full, so I wasn't too worried about topping off. It sounds like players. So I'm hiding my laser here. I don't want to cross the doorway with the laser because then they're going to know where I'm at. Just checking to make sure I'm alone. I don't want to stay here too much longer, though, because a player is going to know where I'm at. They're going to hear all the glass and know that I'm under them. Just missed that guy. Another scab shooting. We got a guy above us. Nice little flick shot there. Great spot for that guy to hold, by the way. Okay, so that's a situation where they're not holding a good angle, meaning he's standing completely out in the open. In that case, I re-peek him because he has to move after that firefight. If he was holding a good angle, I would tell you to never re-peek it. I probably would on accident, but that's why I re-peeked it there because he was in an awful spot and I figured he would have to move and we won the fight. guy surprised me. I thought he was a little closer beneath, not in the room. Okay, someone below us changing angles. We got the guy hurt that just came out of the exit. Decision time. Three people around us. One under. That guy's dead or very hurt. Ooh, spicy. You guys everywhere. Decision time. Do we stay and fight? We've got a bleed. We've got a fracture. We still have plenty of health. In this scenario, I probably waited too long, but you'll see here what I decide to do. And I highly recommend watching till the very end on this one. Close the door, get out. Here he comes. I'm pretty sure I kill this guy as he's coming to try to get me on the exfil. Maybe not, but it was close. Again, just a little bit of insight into my thought process going from a highly contested spawn point up to the office area which is a really challenging area and then back into the exfil and you'll see there there's some really interesting engagements made some good calls made some bad calls if you have some thoughts on what i did well what i didn't do well let me know i'm trying to get better i'm trying to learn factory better but anyway hope this was helpful for you catch you soon